Hey my awesome people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm super excited to announce that my Elementor Pro Bootcamp course is now live. Now that means that you can go straight and enroll into the course and get started on your journey to using Elementor Pro like a pro. Now in this video, I want to take you through all the nitty gritties about this course, the benefits, the curriculum and all that you should expect once you enroll into this course. Let's get started. So I actually created a simple landing page over here that describes and takes you through everything regarding this course. By the way, I'll be leaving a link right down in the description of this video or in the pinned comment so that you can go visit this landing page, read through everything about the course. But before you do that, let me take you through what I really covered in this course, what you should expect, what benefits it brings to the table. Now, I created this course because I think this is something that I would love to take myself. That's why I took all the time to put it together so that for you guys who have been using Elementor to some level can now fully utilize the power of this page builder. That's why I have to mention that before you take this course, you need to have some prior knowledge of using the Elementor page builder, like creating pages, adding sections or containers using the responsive mode because it is not a beginner beginner elementar course but it is more of a course that is going to open up all the other tunnels that you can use to actually create stunning and professional grade websites using the elementar page builder that's why when you come over here on the landing page you're going to see that it requires you to be at intermediate level so by this i mean at least you should be having basic knowledge of you know using the elementar page builder like the free version in this case over here, I added a video that is actually an explainer video. You go over there and watch. It takes you through on what I'm covering in the course, but I am giving you actually more of that in this video. Here is what you're going to learn in the course. So in case you have never used Elementor Pro, I'm going to take you through on how you can actually get Elementor Pro and install it and set it up on your website. And also like the basic settings once you get the Elementor Pro page builder installed and also we'll look into creating a design system if you've ever struggled like creating you know the global styles the global the global styles when it comes to fonts and colors i'll take you through step by step on how you can do that and over here i'll take you through on how you can kickstart using the new elementor flexbox container because hey that is the future so if you don't know how to use the elementor flexbox container playing around with the layouts and positioning I'm going to show you or I take you through step by step in that section of this course or chapter to say. Then the Elementor theme builder. So this is one of the basis of the Elementor Pro add-on in this case because it enables you to create your own themes uh, for your WordPress website from creating headers to footers, post archives, single posts, uh, templates for your WordPress website, error pages, pop-ups. And a lot more so i take you through in all those other side parts that you can create using the elementor theme builder and i think this is a pretty interesting section especially the part where i take you through on how you can create this pop-up and doing all the positioning and then also the styling and then in another chapter i take you through on how you can use advanced features like the custom post types uh, loops and listings so this is my favorite part in this course in this chapter you are going to see how many possibilities the page builder is actually bringing to a table if you have never experienced this uh, whereby you can create your own custom post types like a page is a post type the post is a post type and in this case i take you through in particular how to create you know the testimonials post type and then adding data to that post type at the same time adding custom fields i mean custom fields are fields that you can use to add more data to the normal wordpress post type so i take you through on how you can as well do that and also how we can create loops i made a video on the channel on how you can create a loop using the elemental loop builder but here i even take you further on how you can use a custom post type that you created and then create a loop for that post type and also how you can create a listing for that same new post type so i think that for me is mind-blowing and i would have loved to have a course on how i can do this in the very right way in a simple way without writing any single line of code now in another chapter we, i take you through some of the advanced techniques or design techniques using elementor like styling one of the sections or widgets to look totally different from the default styles that elementor provides like adding custom css to your buttons or your sections and the different ways you can do that using elementor also in another chapter i take you through on how you can integrate your elementor website within the elementor page builder 
to third party services. So for example, like for automation, for security, and a lot more other integrations that you can do within Elementor. Like, you know, you can integrate your Elementor website with Slack, for example, did you know that? Or you can integrate your Elementor website with payment gateways or payment processors like Stripe. Did you know that actually that exists? So that is one of the other things that I've covered in this course. In the one of the very last chapters, I take you through on how you can do basic troubleshooting. And I actually provided, you know, some of the common issues that are faced uh, with Elementor websites. And this document will be one of those go-to documents whereby in case you see one of these errors, you can go over there and see through on how you can troubleshoot that specific issue you are facing on your Elementor website. And also in the course, I take you through some uh, performance optimization techniques and also I provided the same document where you can you know go through on the different steps you can take to make your websites perform better when it comes to speed and also SEO also in case you are a freelancer or you are an agency owner or you are a startup agency owner a team of one two three four five people I think you will enjoy this section of how you can build profitable sites faster pricing your uh, web projects like how you can charge web projects without compromising on time and quality and the same time how you can build a dream team for your new agency or basically a remote team that you can work with so i share some tips in that section and i think they'll really be beneficial to you so that's generally what i'm covering in the course but that's not it all once you enroll into this course you'll get some also goodies on the side like for example i provided four PDF resources that you can download, print out, and that you can always use to uh, look through in case you have any issues. Like for example, I provided four PDF documents. One is a website checklist, one is a website toolkit or beginner toolkit for WordPress, and two others that I will keep as a secret and you'll only find them once you enroll into the course. In case you have any issues, I will be available via email whenever possible to respond to your questions. And also you'll have lifetime access and updates to this course. Once you subscribe or once you enroll into this course, I'll keep you know, pushing up updates. You know, Elementor is an evolving tool, so I would like that you have those updates right within the course sections where they do apply. These are some of the goodies that you are going to get once you enroll into this course. And I wouldn't want you to miss them out, especially that I am actually running a discount at the moment. So just for some numbers, I know you guys love numbers. I've actually put together nine chapters and then also there are total two hours of video. So it's not one video. So there are different sections that you can learn for seven, 10, 15 minutes as you go through the different chapters of the course. And then also the downloadable PDFs that I've already mentioned about. And in case you want to look through some testimonials to get an idea on how my video lessons are here on YouTube, then I've also left some of the feedback, just like you can see over right here. And that's why I have now to say that this is the time for me to stop talking so much about the video and to tell you to go and enroll. And of course, for now, it is 40% off. So go enroll into the course. I wish you the very best. And by the way, I'm open for collaborations in case you want to work with me in one way or the other on how we can get this course to more people. Feel free to shoot me an email. I'll be glad to get back to you. Well, it's been pretty exciting to take you through all the nitty gritties about this course and what you're going to be learning once you enroll into this course. So all I want to ask you is that if you feel that this course is for you and you want to take your website building skill set to the next level, then head straight and enroll into the course where you'll also get a 40% discount before the end of February. And that will never come back anytime soon. So this is the right time for you to go and enroll and I can't wait to see you as a student inside the course and also to read your feedback once you are done. Thank you so much for watching this video. In case you liked it, please share with a friend, like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much. Have a good time and goodbye.